researchers suspect the existence of a second Earth in the Alpha Centauri star system. A rocky planet slightly larger than Earth could lie in the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri and have liquid water on its surface. The best thing about the news is that we have a realistic chance of reaching this planet in the foreseeable future, and so we could potentially be on the verge of making contact with an alien world for the first time. What is in store for us, and are we really prepared? For a long time, our ancestors thought that Alpha Centauri was a single star. As early as the 19th century, however, it was recognized that Alpha Centauri is actually a double star system, consisting of stars Alpha Centauri A and Alpha Centauri B. In 1915, the Scottish astronomer Robert Innes then discovered a third companion, Proxima Centauri and he calculated that the Proxima Centauri system must be our nearest cosmic neighbor. The star system, which is just over four light years away, consists of the stars Alpha Centauri A, Alpha Centauri B, and Proxima Centauri. The Proxima Centauri system is a fascinating group. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star, and Alpha Centauri A and B are a double system, consisting of a yellow and an orange dwarf star. This makes these stars far from being the brightest in the night sky, which is why people were so surprised that these three of all stars are the closest to Earth. Despite its low brightness, Proxima Centauri has become the focus of many observations and studies. In 2002, the Very Large Telescope's optical interferometer made it possible to directly measure the angular diameter of Proxima Centauri, which turned out to be 1.02 thousandths of a second of arc. This led to an estimated diameter of just over 200,000 kilometers, about one-seventh the diameter of the Sun, and only one and a half times the diameter of Jupiter, but 15 times that of the Earth. However, the really sensational thing about this system was not so much the astonishingly precise properties of the stars, but the discovery of numerous exoplanets. Earth 2.0 in the Proxima Centauri system who would have thought that there could be other planets so close to Earth that resemble our home? Proxima Centauri itself is the faintest of the three stars and at the same time, the most interesting. Alpha Centauri and Beta Centauri orbit each other in a very close orbit, probably originally a binary system. Proxima Centauri, on the other hand, appears to be captured and shares a common center of gravity with the other two. But this star runs on a strongly eccentric orbit and orbits its two partners in a wide arc. The orbit sometimes brings the star closer to us, and then it moves away again. Researchers have deduced the existence of several exoplanets in the Proxima Centauri system from orbital irregularities and transit observations. In 2016, a team of scientists led by Guillaume Inglada Escudet from the Queen Mary University of London announced the discovery of the first exoplanet around Proxima Centauri. This planet was named Proxima b. With the help of the HARP spectrograph at the La Silla Observatory in Chile, further details about the planet were obtained, and these were a truly sensational discovery. By precisely observing the radial velocity of the star, scientists were able to determine details of Proxima b's size, mass, and orbit. Thanks to the radial velocity method, we can measure tiny variations in the star's velocity and draw conclusions about the gravitational effects of orbiting planets. Instruments such as the HARP spectrograph determine astonishingly detailed profiles of exoplanets from these minimal fluctuations. According to this, Proxima b has a minimum mass of around 1.27 Earth masses and orbits its star at a distance of around 7.5 million kilometers which corresponds to around 1 20th of the distance between Earth and the Sun. The planet needs only 11.2 days to complete an orbit around Proxima Centauri. Despite this proximity to its star, Proxima b is in the habitable zone, which means that the temperatures could theoretically allow liquid water on its surface. The fact that the planet is not burning itself on its Sun is simply due to the fact that Proxima b is much dimmer than our Sun. Of course, we can only guess and speculate what the climate and seasons might be like on a planet where a year lasts less than 14 Earth days, and we can only imagine in our imagination 
the conditions under which any living creatures would exist there. The discovery of Proxima b and its classification as an Earth-like planet led to a wave of excitement in 2016. Speculation and scientific research into its habitability and the possibility that it could harbor life continued to fuel the hype surrounding the newly discovered planet. Scientists suspected in open studies that Proxima b could have an atmosphere that would allow the presence of liquid water on its surface. Then came the shock. A few months after the first promising facts about Proxima b were announced, something was observed that dashed all hopes. The star Proxima Centauri frequently experienced strong bursts of radiation and coronal mass ejections which it blew directly onto its planet. Under these circumstances, scientists consider the existence of an atmosphere around Proxima b to be almost impossible, and biological life as we know it would very probably not be possible in such a world. Proxima Centauri continued to be a very active red dwarf. The ejections are quite frequent, and the hopes to find life on Proxima b faded away. The star's outbursts were then joined by another circumstance that dramatically influences the question of life on Proxima b. The planet probably orbits its star in a bound orbit, similar to our moon. The same side always faces the star and one side faces away. This means that the day side of the planet is always bright and warm, while the night side is dark and cold. However, researchers have calculated an interesting fact. In a narrow strip that represents the transition from the day to the night side, a temperate climate could prevail even on a world like Proxima b, and life would be possible there. On a voyage of discovery in the Proxima system, the Proxima Centauri system has kept researchers in suspense for decades. The idea that a rich planetary system similar to ours is located not far from us has captivated experts and amateur astronomers alike. In 2020, scientists reported evidence of a second planet in the Optima Centauri system known as Proxima c. The existence of Proxima c was also hypothesized by amazing data from radial velocity measurements. Proxima c has an estimated mass of about 7 Earth masses and an orbital period of around 5.2 years. It is actually located far outside the habitable zone, but researchers repeatedly warn that we must not make the mistake of transferring the conditions of our own world to other systems. Astrobiologists also repeatedly warn against judging even life only by earthly standards. We do not know whether habitable worlds in other systems look completely different from ours and whether there are life forms that can cope excellently with darkness and cold or radiation. Even our own Earth surprises us again and again when we find bizarre life forms deep in caves in icy cold and complete darkness. Under kilometers of thick ice in the Antarctic, researchers have found entire biosystems. And in the most toxic and boiling hot thermal waters around volcanoes, unicellular organisms have been found that have adapted perfectly to these hostile environments. The idea that life could exist under such conditions on other planets is both shocking and fascinating at the same time. Or what do you think? Radial velocity measurements provided further evidence of planets in the Proxima system. For a while, Proxima d and e were classified as gas giants. But then errors were found in the measurement methods and researchers withdrew the data for the time being. For years now, we've been waiting for the James Webb Space Telescope to re-examine the Proxima system and confirm or deny the measurements. The Proxima Centauri system, what have we missed? Our neighboring system has lost none of its interest and excitement for exoplanet research. Researchers still see an almost inexhaustible reservoir for future missions and research here. If we are able to send probes to alien stars, this system would definitely be our first target. Proxima Centauri has a mass of about 12.3% of the mass of the Sun which is unusually high for a star of this size. Its average density has been calculated to be 57 grams per cubic centimeter, which is significantly higher than the average density of the Sun of 1.4 grams per cubic centimeter. The total brightness of Proxima Centauri is only 0.17% of the Sun's brightness. 
with over 85% of the energy being emitted in infrared wavelengths. These new measurement data alone show that the conditions in the Proxima system are very different from ours and that it is difficult to make judgments about possible living conditions and planetary developments. The conditions on Proxima b, which is around 7.5 million kilometers away from its star, could therefore be very different from what we imagine. A star that emits predominantly infrared light can have a very different influence on nearby planets than a star that emits light at more aggressive frequencies. It is possible that the strong radiation bursts and coronal mass ejections that significantly influence the space weather in the system are not as bad as we first thought. New study results have encouraged one man in particular to continue to believe in the possible habitability of the worlds in the Proxima system. Yuri Milner is a multi-billionaire and promoter of the SETI program, which researchers use to search for signs of extraterrestrial life in space. Milner is convinced that we need to see for ourselves what is really going on in the Proxima system before we can judge. With nano spaceships to Proxima b in just four years. It sounds too crazy to be true. Many spaceships equipped with cameras are to be accelerated to almost the speed of light using a brand new technology. These nano spaceships could reach the Proxima system in just over four years. These small scouts would then fly around the Proxima system for a few years and provide us with images from there for the first time. Imagine what it would be like to get the first real images of the surface of Proxima b or to see live how a star from this special class shines. Thanks to the Breakthrough Starshot mission funded by Yuri Milner, all this should be possible in the 2030s. The mission plans to launch a fleet of around a thousand small probes. The high density is intended to ensure that some reach the Proxima system when others fail. If all 1,000 probes arrive, we would receive data from all possible angles of our neighboring system. The spacecraft, which are only a few centimeters in size, are accelerated by laser beams from the ground. With this initial speed and thanks to special light sails, the mini probes would be accelerated further and further. At least that's the plan. And right now, there are probably hundreds of scientists in laboratories and scientific centers in the USA working on the implementation of the project. Meanwhile, others are waiting for the latest measurements from the James Webb Telescope in the Proxima system. Another great hope lies in the brand new 35-meter telescope, which will begin its work in the Chilean Andes toward the end of the decade. The performance of this facility should be able to top even Webb and set completely new standards, especially in the search for exoplanets. Become a subscriber now and never miss a new video again.